Hello, this is Chris Menard. I'm using Microsoft Excel. I want to show you how to convert dates that are actually put in as text to a true date. If I click on cell D2, if you notice up here it's got that uh, single apostrophe. That means it's text. Uh, one other way you can tell is if you run the T function and it returns what's in the cell, then it's actually text. So I need to make that uh, March 2017 as a date. And even though it says date up here, it's still not. So here we go. I'm going to use the function equals text, cell D2, comma. It's asking me what format I want. M, 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 M will give me the word March. Close that. Also want to concatenate or add to it a slash in between the month and the year. And one more text function. D2, comma, now I need the year. So I should end up with March slash 2017. Let's see if it works. Hit yes if you get that message, and that's exactly what I ended up with. Now, all of these uh, certifications that I have up here, they all actually expire at the end of the month. So let's go do, let's put the end of the month in, equals EOM. This will always give you the end of the month. Cell G2, comma, what months are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for the current month, so I'm going to put a zero in. If I wanted it to be the end of April, I would have put a one in. You're saying that doesn't look like a date. It's okay. Numbers are dates. Let me change that around. Dates are numbers. So hit the drop down, pick short date. And there I go. Highlight both of these. Let's do an autofill. I just made up this data here, so let's just autofill it down to here. So H2 is what I really need to have in cell D2. So let's highlight our information and copy it. Come over here. I'm going to go the long way. I'm on the Home tab. Paste. I want to paste the values and the number format. So now those truly are dates and I can use conditional formatting to show me people that have expired as this cell and people that are coming up within two months. I'm going to show that conditional formatting in a separate video. Thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed these two functions that I used here to convert uh, text to dates and get the end of the month in.